time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it? When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will be there. You'll see. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stonecloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Not at all. That was as much a test of your abilities as it was your resolve. I wasn't sure your heart was in it, but you've proven me wrong, and I respect that. Now, if we're done being sentimental, it's time for you to take the oath. Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A heroine of the people. A true daughter of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Vindhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks. The true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us. Which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Watch yourself out there. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Have you not heard that ancient verse? Maw unleashing razor snow, of dragons from the blue brought down, birds the walking winter's woe, the high king in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the high king always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, 
Who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? It's true. The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the Great Hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds his body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown, its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas. Corvan June. If the crown exists, it will be there. I, the Great Hunt, killed old King Borgas. Gods only know with what profane arts those elves cursed his remains. Curses notwithstanding, the tombs of kings are always full of traps to ward off grave robbers, are they not? But nothing a band of Stormcloaks can't handle, I assure you. Don't wait around. Get yourself kitted out with what you need. Welcome to the fight. Join up. Great uh, news. We'll take down. back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. Imperials! Keeping themselves comfortable. Let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? That's what I like to hear.
sure about that? Then please, be my guest and go strolling on in there. We'll stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? You there, unblooded. See if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. A hall of stories. We must be getting close now. Oh, what can I do I've for I've heard you? of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we don't have. These old halls fill some folk with bread. But as a Nord, any of these carvings show a crown. Find some way to get that gate open. How's it going on, brother? Find anything yet? Keep looking on, brother. Get that thing open. That's done it. All right, boys. Let's get We've got four. Tell it now. Hey, baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
still here. The crowd must be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. See if we can find anything else useful. What can I help you with? What can I help you with? Alias has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Damn it. What were they doing there? Imperial spies are everywhere. Never forget that. I trust you gave them with ration. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgrof the Greater. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. 